Hello, everyone. It's Monday. You guys ready for another week? Happy Monday to you. I am Angela with Happy Little Stitch Shop. Today is Monday, April 15th, 2024. And we are here today for Mercantile Monday to work on another mercantile block or whatever you've brought with you to work on today. I will be working on another mercantile block. How is everybody doing today? How are you? How is your weekend? How's everything going? Hello, Sharon. Doing a little last minute retreat prep. So exciting. When do you hit the road? I can't remember what you said. Hello, Sheila. Hello, Marsha. Marsha says my sewing things are packed and ready, but clothing is another story. It's retreat week, people. So things are a little crazy at Happy Little Stitch Shop this week because I'm pulling stuff together to transport up to the retreat um, on Friday. It's crazy. Lots of stuff going on with the family. Lots of stuff going on with, you know, kids and activities. And lots and lots and lots where I'm in the belly of retreat prep. I can't believe it's this weekend already. I can't believe it's already here. Like, how did that happen? It's retreat week. Hello, Alicia from Alabama. It's beautiful there. It's beautiful here too. It's gorgeous here today. Storms and rain tomorrow, but today it's beautiful. Hello, Renee. Hello, Helen from Georgia. Alicia hanging out starch fabric for that fresh off the line smell. I love it. Hello, Lynn. Hello, Pam. I decided to pack the rest of my mercantile for a treat. Yay! I might, I am a little bit behind. So I'm thinking I might bring the remaining mercantile blocks to work on too, along with a bunch of applique. I'm going to bring my applique pile, I think. But I, I wasn't going to bring mercantile. And then I thought, oh, I'm going to have a good, hopefully a decent chunk of time. These blocks go together so quickly. So maybe I could come back with all the blocks done. Because after I do this one today, I'll have one, two, three, four. Four blocks. I wonder if I could do that. So mercantile. Pam is bringing mercantile. Deborah, hello from St. Paul. Renee, tired grand girl, 14th birthday was yesterday. Oh, 14 years old. I love it. Hello, Laurel. Aloha. Packing for retreat. Probably heading out Wednesday. Okay. Mm hmm. I love it. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous trip. Pam, very busy weekend getting retreat things together, I am sure. Renee, they had us on the lake paddle boating. Did you have fun? That sounds like fun. Carolyn, good afternoon. Happy to be swimming with you guys today. I've missed a couple Mondays. I'm happy you're back. Susan, trying to pack the just right clothes so I'm not hot or cold layer. That's what I would say. I think next weekend is supposed to be a little cooler than it is right now. Like right now we're in the 70s. Yesterday we were over 80. So it was really warm yesterday. I was hot yesterday. But next weekend it's supposed to be in like the 50s. So I would say I'm going to be packing long pants, short sleeve shirt with something to put on top so that I could take it off if I get hot. Chris, hello, working on pine tree block from Mercantile. I love it. Hello, free spirit. Greetings, all you happy little stitch shop addicts. <laughs> Sharon, do you get to stay at the hotel with us or will we be going home? I will be staying. Yeah, because who knows how wild and crazy it'll get and how late it'll get. And then trying to get back and forth. And then it would be really hard for me to get out of here because there's always one more thing that like a child needs or one more question. And, you know, I try to leave at one time and an hour later, I'm still maybe answering questions, <laughs> especially on the weekend when they're actually here and they don't have to be out the door. Although D has a soccer, soccer tournament on Saturday. But my plan is that I will be up there for fun, late night chats and stitching and, you know, 
all the good community girlfriend fun. That'd be good. Um, six blocks, says Pam. Six blocks that you're bringing or you have six blocks done? Preparing for our family camping trip, Fort Wilderness Disney for our 50th anniversary next week. I love that. We looked into Fort Wilderness the million times that we have dreamed of taking our kids to Disney and it never worked out. It's always too much, but um, it looks so fun. All the research that I did on it years ago, it looks so fun. So have a blast. That'll be so much fun. Hello, Nancy. Sharon says, yay. 80 degrees in Missouri, Georgia. It's a lot of walking. I rent a power scooter. Oh, at Disney? Yeah, it is a lot. I mean, I've never been there, but I would assume it's a lot. Free spirit retreats are modern day quilting bees. I know. Isn't it fun? That's what I love about it. Yes, happy anniversary, Chris. 50th. What an accomplishment. I have six blocks to finish in the border. I have the border too. Oh, I forgot about the border. So we're pretty close to each other. Same boat. Kathy, hello, hello. I will be with you in spirit. Well, hopefully you can come someday. Ow. Ooh, my shoulder. Hopefully you can come someday. Okay. Did everybody have a good weekend? I hope everybody had a good weekend. It was beautiful here. Beautiful, beautiful. And did, did I see a Garden of Quilts email or did I imagine that? Does that open up now and are people going? I'm curious. Okay, what I've got going on here, I'm working on the Patchwork Star block. See, Patchwork Star. Here's all my pieces. Here's my background and my um, or block border. So I'm gonna get started on this little cutie. But how was everybody's weekend? And did I read something about quilts and are people going? A and B squares. Draw my double lines on there. Now I'm going to head over and sew. Sew these together.
see what do I have handy here. Now, do these need to be trimmed? Press them open. It's saying, no, I don't want to be pressed open. Okay, there's that. What are people saying? Same for me, Kathy. Maybe next year. I hope so. I hope that people can come. I feel like, you know, we're just kind of starting out. So um, I'm hoping to build uh, that more and more people want to come and we can maybe offer it a couple times a year if that ever, if we ever get to that point, give people a couple different options. Cause I know if you have it once a year and if you have a conflict, then it's like you're out of luck and that's, where's the fun in that? I've heard from so many people who've been like, oh, I'm planning a quilt retreat for my church or, oh, it's an anniversary or, you know, one conflict or another They're on a trip around the world, <laughs> you know? on another trip to Brazil. So it's just, it's kind of, that's the stinky part about having it just one time a year. So I hope you guys will consider coming in the future. And I hope you have a fabulous uh, anniversary, Chris. She said, missing the retreat, but maybe next year. Have fun. Hello, Casey Shaw. Hey, Jude. Hello, hello. Just got done Lauren Army. I never knew, I never know what color to use. So I use them all. Oh, nice. Georgia, love Lori's mercantile pencils for drawing my lines on my quilt blocks. Yes. Yes, I still use, I have not. I have those pencils up with my planner at my desk. Um, I have not brought them down here, but I should because I should use those on for the drawing. Tara, hello from Canada. Drinking tea while I hand applique my circle. I love it. Deborah, does anyone know what size rulers to use for trimming pine tree? Is it two inch and four inch? I can't tell from the pictures. Does it say? Two and a quarter for the half square triangles. I always check against the size of the plan. Plain square. They will join too. Oh yeah. Hello, Susan. Took me quite a while without words. Wisconsin is quite far from Ohio. It is. It is a little bit of a jaunt. Every once in a while, my husband has to drive there for work. So, not crazy, you know, but yeah, it's not like a little Sunday drive for sure. Yes, yes, yes. Um, for those of you who are going to retreat, what are you most looking forward to? I'm curious. 
Draw the lines on two of them again. Oh, oh, okay. I see. I see what you're saying, Lori Holt. I see. Let's make sure I do it correctly, shall we? You guys don't want to watch this. You want to watch this. So I'm going to go across. One, there's two. Okay, and then we're going to pair it up. Opposite is what it looks like. Okay. Okay, let's cut that. Now, does it have us trim it or no? Nope. We trim it after. Okay, look at those cute blocks. 
It's one of my favorite prints from Mercantile. Okay, pressing is open for instrument ruler. Let's see, this is the right one. These are, don't you love these trimmer rulers? I love that we can trim down these blocks. For more accurate, more accuracy, I love it. Love these trim it rulers. For the same exact reason. Blocks. Okay, what are people saying? What are you most excited about for the retreat? Sharon says, meeting you. I'm so excited to meet you too. Susan says, I'm also looking forward to reuniting with old friends and making new friends. I agree. And all the other lovely ladies, I agree. Between agenda visiting and laughing, maybe a little stitching, says Susan. Yay. Marsha, I love to hear all the happy chatter and laughing and sewing. Reuniting with everyone, says Pam, and making new friends. Susan says, Marsha, me too. It fills my heart with joy. Yay. Kathy, I used to attend Quilting Retreats twenty year and Oh, and have kept in touch with many of them. I love that. Laurel says, yes, meeting everyone. Casey Shaw says, where in Wisconsin is the retreat being held? This year it's being held in Madison, Wisconsin. Last year we held it in Utah. That was a lot of fun too. We'll for sure go back to Utah someday um, when, when life kind of cooperates with that. Uh, but this year it's going to be in Madison. will likely fluctuate, at least for the time being, between Utah and Madison. Not necessarily Madison. Utah and Wisconsin, I should say. We might try to get it into New Glarus at some point, which is where our shop is located. So, but I think for the foreseeable future, we'll alternate or fluctuate. It won't necessarily be alternating till I uh, get through some um, <laughs> big milestones with my kids and I'm here and present for that. And then uh, we'll settle into a schedule, I think. Too late to participate in a wait list, I'm local. Oh, you, you are? Have we talked about this? Where are you from? Um, it is too late to participate because it starts this Friday. So like all the numbers have been submitted and all of the food is being made this week. Um, it's through our Stitching with Lori Club. So we have a Stitching with Lori Club that we offer, Stitching with Lori Holt. And so it's a Stitching with Lori Club retreat that we have each year. And the Stitching with Lori Club opens in, membership opens in June for the month of June. And then... Um, and then we'll do it. We do one, we try to do one each year. It's not a guarantee, but we do try to host one. At least the last couple of years, we've tried to host one each year. I think you should have it up here. Oh my gosh. Like up by door County. Wouldn't that be awesome? It's so beautiful up there. And Clarice, I'm in. 
Are you, Chris? I'm putting in, I'm putting in time to get, um, to get that figured out. Kim, excited to catch you live today. Hello, Kim. Just found your channel this morning and have been watching from the beginning. Oh no, <laughs> from the very beginning. <sighs> those, those early ones. Holy camoly. I just ordered the kit Thursday. I get it tomorrow. Yay. Oh, this kit? You're doing mercantile, Kim? Oh, you're going to love it. You're going to love how easy these blocks go together. And it's so fun to circle them up. Mm. Love it. Can we get squeaky cheese curds up there? Yes, you can. Yes, you sure can. We are the cheese capital of the world. Yes. Almost anywhere. Yeah. I know you're not in Door County. Hey, Jude, I know you're up in Northeast. Northeast Minnesota or Wisconsin, right? Marionette County, almost to the Michigan border. Every time I think North, I think Door County because I love it up there. Rapids. What rapids? What rapids? In Wisconsin? Or like in Iowa, Cedar Rapids? I know, cheese curds are yummy. Yes, going to be doing work until super excited. I'm so excited for you. Oh my gosh, it's so fun. I love, I love this quilt. And this one, Penny Candy. Um, but this one is so fun. These little blocks are so fun to put together. Okay, so I got that done. Wisconsin Rapid. Oh, by Stevens Point. What in the world, Casey? You need to join our... Um, I mean, you don't need to do anything. I do not. I'm, <laughs> I'm not trying to pressure you, um, but you should. You should join our Stitching with Lori Club because then you can do come to the retreat. And it's close for you. We have two, two other Wisconsinites that are coming this year. Can't wait, but will for Penny Candy Quilt Kit and several fig tree fabrics to arrive. Oh, that's right. We got those. Did we get them out the door to you? I feel like we shipped on Friday. Is that true? Did we get them out to you? What are cheese curds, Laurel? Oh, uh, you tried joining the Station Lower Club June 1st. It'll open June 1st. I think we talked about this. Yeah, it'll be open during the month of June. So you'll be able to sign up for it then, Casey. Okay, so cheese curds, it's it's a type of cheese. I don't actually know like what why what's special about it. Does anybody else know? Um little nuggets of deliciousness. I know, like what I don't which let's look. Let's educate. Let me educate myself. They're very good. So you can get, um, okay, a cheese curd, small pieces of curdled milk, roughly the size of peanuts in the shell with a mild and cheddar-like flavor. Cheese curds have a rubbery texture that causes a squeak when you bite into them. Curds are often eaten, eaten plain or with herbs and garlic and spices. Fried cheese curds are also popular. So you can get them cold, just as like, like look. They're just chunks of cheese like that. Or you can get fried cheese curds and those are really yummy too. It's very good. It's good stuff and, and that we have here in Wisconsin. And typically it's pretty healthy for you. It's not, we're not known for healthy food in Wisconsin. Um, hello, Donna Marie. Little heavenly bites of squeaky cheese. That's right. Not sure if it shipped already because my email is having a glitch. Oh, I could look it up for you. Interesting. I will definitely try them. They're good. They're yummy. Okay. So what else is happening here with this block? Let's make the patchwork center. Another patchwork center. What did I just make a patchwork center for? 
Oh, this guy right back here, this house. I love that little nine patch center. Plus I love it even more because it came together very nicely. Okay. So we're gonna have those. And we need these. Oh, they're not all the same. It's not a nine patch. And then this little cutie. Okay, I gotta go sew this together. Anybody do anything fun, exciting over the weekend? I could not believe how hot it was here yesterday. For the first like warmish day, it was really hot here. We were over 80 degrees, it was crazy. I am not ready for summer clothing. It was very warm yesterday. together. It's funny because we kind of have this family tradition a little bit that during the summer, if we have a hundred degree day here, which does happen, sometimes it can happen kind of 
a bit, but it's not terribly common, so. It's kind of a treat. So we have this family tradition that when we hit a 100 degree day, we go get ice cream. <laughs> so yesterday, it was so warm, like so like out of season, you know, unseasonably warm that um, my everybody put shorts on, except for me, but everybody else had shorts on. And uh, my little one thought that it was so warm that it was an ice cream day. She was like, it's hot enough for ice cream. It's like a hundred degrees. <laughs> it's not, it's not a hundred degrees out, but we did go get ice cream anyway. We don't really need an excuse to get ice cream. Yay, we played, we played nicely together. Yay. Ooh, people are talking about fun stuff. Lorel, I went to the Hawaiian Palace for a tour and learned how to weave and made a pair of earrings. Nice. Donna Marie finished the Quilted Witch, so clean the sewing room. Oh, in between projects before you start your next one. What's next, Donna Marie? Just put my Merc together this weekend. Sharon, we had my mother-in-law here for her 93rd birthday. Her memory's getting really bad, but she had a good time. Oh, I love that. Free spirit excitement. Cat escaped out of his carrier while driving down the road. That was a lot of excitement for a long weekend. Oh no, what happened then? Did, did did he cause chaos in the vehicle? Marsha, I was just catching one of Lori's older YouTube videos for her Christmas book and the projects. I have got to make some. I know, me too. I pulled out Scrappiness is Happiness this morning, and I put together a quick block. Do you guys want to see it? Um, Sharon. Oh, my gosh, it's crazy. That cat was a free spirit. <laughs> Vintage stars. Oh, yes. That's on my list too, Inch of Stars for sure. Um, this morning I put together quick my favorite, one of my favorites from Scrappiness is Happiness. So had to do that. Trim it to four inches. Does it need to be trimmed? Maybe, maybe just a tish. Not much. Okay, what's next? You guys, I always forget. Trimmed it, sew them together like this. Oh, we're sewing more pieces together. Okay, so those are done. Let's get this out here. B, C, and F. We're going to sew these together. I did, Kim. Yeah, I starched. Oh. Um, oh, yes, chaos. Had to capture him and quickly get to bed. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Chris question, did you start your fabric before starting? I don't do, I don't do, um, the heavy starching, but I do spray like Lori does. I follow Lori's starching, uh, 
Excuse me. Excuse me. I follow Lori's starching method. So I do half Ellen's, Mary Ellen's best press and half water and I spray it. I spritz the fabric before when I iron it before I cut it. So that's what I do. Yes, let's see. Uh, yes, sure. Oh, okay. So I did this super fast this morning is like a really, and I was like hurried. It was like my sewing machine was on speed. Um, but I'll show you. Oh, you guys can't see that. This is the one I did. This is one of my favorites from that book. And so I plan at some point to do a, um, I'd like to do a so long, a scrappiness, sappiness so long at some point and do make one of these. You know, it's kind of like uh, related a little bit maybe to Fat Quarter Friends, our Lori Holt Fat Quarter Friends Club, where you get fat quarters each month and add to your stash or some people have been making with them or whatever, but we could make a scrappiness block to go uh, have like a scrappiness is happiness so long. Okay, I gotta head over and put these cuties together. Hold on. Let me make sure I know what I'm doing here. doing that block so rapidly this morning um to burn my fingers again darn me in this iron
this open. those let's see pretty good I don't even know if that needs to be trimmed sometimes I get into the habit of just trimming because I can and I don't know that it's really even necessary because it could be just a sliver you know, a sliver on the edge. I'm like, oh, let's trim that off. But this one I am going to trim just tish right there. There are those. Let's see. Pretty, very nice, nice, thank you, thank you. I sewed. Ooh, oh, you sewed Edelweiss over the weekend? Isn't it so pretty? I need to, I need to go to Lake Superior. I love the lake, I would love to just be by lake sometime this summer. I know, wouldn't it be fun if they could come to the retreat? Oh, last two years I had to miss a Kirk year. Good reasons, otherwise I'd be there. So all of my fingers and toes are crossed for you next year, Chris. So fun, even when we lost power due to the storm. Oh my gosh, sometimes that could be even more fun. Unexpected. And then, you know, dealing with that. Oh, I keep looking at this book like it's going to help me, but it's not. I need to go to the blog. Oh, it's all ready to lay out. Okay, so I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up. I'm going to grab a bigger board. And let's start piecing this, putting this cutie together. Let's start getting it done. Okay, so these all go towards the center. This is going to be in the very center. And then these. It's one of my favorites. I love the coloring in this block. It's my favorite part. Ah! Look, I love it. That's so shall we? Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this guy. And bring this cutie together.
Two. Now the bottom row. We're going to add the last row. Oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Trying to line up the wrong seam. That would be a, like a Picasso block.
Hey, <gasps> ta da! <clears throat> Let's see. May I ask what machine you'd recommend? I have sewing experience, but new to quilting. Amy, um, I love my Juki. Um, However, I anticipate loving the singer that I have as well, if I ever get that up and running. Um, the best advice I could give you, which I know this isn't like a direct answer, but the best advice that I could give you is to visit a sewing machine shop. And hopefully it's the type of shop where you can go in and just try some stuff out um, and see what you, you like and what feels good. Uh, Juki is pretty straightforward. Like there aren't a lot of fancy buttons to it. It's not, it's straight stitching only. There aren't a bunch of fancy, fancy stitches. So for a beginner, that could be helpful because you don't have all of the, con the bells and whistles to confuse you. It's just like set the stitch length, thread your machine. And it's pretty straightforward, like not complicated threading. Um, so I would look into that, but also maybe go try your hand at some different ones at a shop. I've heard good things about Brothers, that Brothers are pretty good beginner machines. I've heard that from people. Um, and reasonably priced uh, for Brothers. Juki isn't crazy expensive either. Once you, you start to get into your expensive ones, that'll be like Bernina's and stuff like that. Does that help? Um, Angela, bring your crew up to the UP and the Big Lake. They would love it. Oh, I would love to go up there. I would love to. We talk about going to different places along um, in Michigan, along Lake Michigan. We've not talked about going up to the UP. We have. I take that back. We have talked about going up to the UP because we've had a discussion about which what would be the best way to go? Are you driving, Susan? Are you driving to retreat this week? Which way are you coming? Or are you flying? Angela, I didn't orient my circle right on that one. Oops, kept it, but I'm sad. Oh, thank you for the heads up because I think it goes this way. You can't see what I'm doing, Chris. I think it goes this way in the circle, right? Not this way, but not this way, but that way. What way are you coming? Are you coming down Michigan? Or are you, are you, are you, what are you doing? Um, Beautiful block. Thank you, Susan. Free Spirit Angela, I like that you backstitch beginning and ending of your seams. Thank you. Gorgeous block is gorgeous. Thank you. Beautiful block. Thank you. Amy, thanks. I did look at Juki online. I will look for a dealer named me. I currently have a Walmart brother machine. How do you like it? I've heard of people like using those for a good period of time until they're ready to try something different. Laurel loves her Bernina. I've heard very good things about Berninas. The UP is beautiful and also Northern Wisconsin. <laughs> yes. Northern Wisconsin is beautiful too. 
Madison is just five hours away, going down to Green Bay and then south. S Susan, Madison is just five hours away from you? Are you serious? So I'm like five and a half hours away from you. That's not far. I thought, I mean, I thought you were farther away than that. Um, meh, I like to eat my fabric star. <laughs> we don't need that. You don't need any extra uh, obstacles when you're learning. Georgia, try the machine out and then get the most out of money. Make sure they have classes. That's a good recommendation. And both Bradina and Husky Varna have the, love them both. Three hours to Green Bay and then Madison. That's insane. I did not realize you were so close. I didn't know that. Okay, so this little cutie is ready to, it's time to circle up, people. Let's get this one circled up and ready to go. Circle up, circle time. Oh. Okay. And let's see what we can do here. Gonna pin these. Hey, wait. Oh my gosh, what is happening? You, you guys were just waiting for me to catch it. This block needs some borders, my friends. That wasn't gonna work one little bit. Oh my gosh, I was gonna try to make it work. That's the best I could. We need borders.
Okay, here we go. We're back on track. Now, we can get this situated. That gives us a little more wiggle room, a little more to work with. Hello, Leanne. Hello, Deborah. All right. We're going to circle this one up. Change my stitch length. Put this cutie on here. Something a little crooked. Hopefully, that doesn't matter. this quick. Ah. 
Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, now let's make sure I, let's make sure, tell me if I've got it on here wrong. How is it? Got it on there right, pretty sure. Okay, now I'm gonna. Get low on my glue. Don't need much, I at least need a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. Grab my fourteen and a half inch ruler. Put there, that on there and chat with you guys for a minute. Oh, I need that to trim. How scary, what, what happened? Pam was in the yard yesterday and moved a stepping stone and guess what was under it? A snake, oh, luckily I had a shovel in my hand, took care of it. It was a copperhead. Oh my gosh. How scary. Where there is one, there are more. Did you check for babies? There was one baby. Thank you, Sheriff. From a copperhead to a pretty quilt block. <laughs> thank you, Chris. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hello, Valeria. How's your trip? Lori Hilton knows just how to help feed our souls. Does she not? I agree, free spirit. Yes, I will bring Subu to the retreat along with other, other um, goodies. Along with other goodies for the pop-up shop. We're going to be lugging so much stuff up there. Oh my gosh, so much stuff to take. It's an all hands on deck type situation. We've, I've already been talking to the kids about it. Like after school on Friday, we are lugging stuff up there. And uh, my little one cannot stop talking about it. She's like, when is retreat? Is, is retreat this week? Are we going to the retreat this week? She keeps talking about it. But she remembers last year when I went to retreat because I was gone for a little bit too long. The nice thing about having it closer is that I'm it's more accessible for family things. And if I need it, I'm closer. Um, uh, so she remembers me going to retreat at Utah last year. And so she keeps saying, we're going to Utah to the retreat. I'm like, no, it's not Utah this year. But yes, you're coming to retreat. Um, the vintage tags are not here yet, Sue, Susan. Uh, they're not here yet. How is Luna Valeria? Okay, I'm, I'm going to do this quick. I don't. I don't have a lot of patience for, for drying. So I'm just going to do it. Moved my stitch length back to a two. Put this nicely under here. 
and this time I'm going to try to straighten out my chair a little bit. I'm going to trim her up. <laughs> How many times can I adjust it? Okay. So pretty. Another block done. It's going to be one of my favorites. I know it. Um, my brother are glued to my hips. Oh, I love it. Soak up that time, Valeria. It's just lovely, says Free Spirit. Could you bring your 14 and a half inch ruler so I can use it at retreat? I don't have room to pack mine. I think I can maybe hopefully remember to do that. Yes. Gorgeous, says Sharon. I love it. This one's fabulous. Okay, so I have taken up enough of your time. This block took a hot minute because I was a little chatty today. So apologies for that. Um, have a good couple days. I will be back with you for Whip Wednesday on Wednesday. i got to grab my next block, my uh, hometown Quilt seeds block from the shop. I got that one done. I think we're on eight. I got to grab that one. Then I'll be caught up to where we are because nine ships in May. Um, so join me for Whip Wednesday, I hope. And then I will see you again on Thursday. And then for those of you who are coming to retreat, I will maybe see you Friday. And then I will for sure see you Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. I'm so excited. I just noticed a pine tree block. I did at lunch. A couple of blocks turned wrong. Or made into a circle, it's bad. So I guess a redo is in my future. Not good with just picks, I guess. Oh, yeah, that's a bummer. I left my flower, but I feel like it was okay. But if it's super noticeable, then I would have had to have ripped it out too. 
Oh, that's a bummer. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I will see you Friday. Hopefully I'll see you guys Wednesday and Thursday as well. And safe travels to everybody. If I don't see you before then, safe travels to everybody who's traveling to retreat. Please be safe out there. And um, have a happy, happy Monday, you guys. Thanks so much for being here with me. I appreciate it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe and follow us on all of the social media channels. And uh, visit happylistitchop.com. And we'll see you again soon. Take care, everybody. Happy stitching.